We've all watched and enjoyed the animated Ice Age franchise where a group of mammals went on a quest to safely return Sid the Sloth to his family during the Ice Age or the infamous Wall from Game of Thrones. Even though these movies are purely fictional, what if I tell you that a similar incident occurred in real life over 2.4 million years ago? Fascinating, isn't it? Ice Age is basically a long period in which the temperature of Earth's surface and atmosphere significantly reduced, which resulted in the expansion of polar ice sheets and alpine glaciers. Earth's climate alternates between ice ages and greenhouse periods. Greenhouse periods are complete opposites of the Ice Age, where instead of expansion, glaciers melt down due to extended heat. Individual pulses of cold climate within an Ice Age are termed glacial periods or ice ages, and intermittent warm periods within ice age are called interglacials. The collective effects of changes on the Earth's movements on its climate over thousands of years are known as Milankovitchic cycles. Milankovitchic cycles were named after the Serbian geophysicist and astronomer Mulatin Milankovic. Milankovic traveled to different parts of the world during the year 1911 to test some Earth samples in order to study the ice ages of the Pleistocene. During this time, Milankovic found something really interesting when he then used to drive his hypothesis. He gave a hypothesis that eccentricity, axial tilt or obliquity, and precession combined together result in cyclical variations. Axial tilt or obliquity is when the Earth slightly tilts forward or backward, which impacts the amount of sunlight hitting the surface of the Earth. When Earth is tilted slightly forward, more light would hit the Earth which would melt the ice resulting in a warmer temperature. Inversely, when the Earth is tilted slightly backwards, less sunlight would hit it resulting in a colder temperature. The Earth revolves around the Sun in an ellipse instead of a circle. During its revolution around the Sun, Earth reaches two points, one where it is farthest from the Sun and the other when it is closest to the Earth. The measure of the amount by which it deviates from its circle is known as eccentricity. The same phenomenon applies to this. When Earth is closest to the Sun, more ice would melt, resulting in a warmer temperature. Whereas when it is farthest from the Sun, less ice would melt. When the Earth rotates, it wobbles slightly upon its axis and rotates more like a top. This is called precession. Around 13,000 years ago, Earth's precession was reversed, which resulted in warmer weather in the north and colder weather in the south. This shift amplified the seasons, which resulted in extreme weathers in the seasons. Milankovitch believed that obliquity or axial tilt had the greatest impact on climate change. He deduced that ice ages would take place after every 41,000 years. However, according to research conducted, it was observed that ice age cycles of the Quaternary glaciation occurred at a period of 100,000 years, which completely matches the eccentricity cycle. Let's briefly talk about the five major ice ages that the Earth has experienced. The first one to ever exist was the Uranian glaciation that occurred 2.4 to 2.3 billion years ago. During this time, several ice ages occurred concurrently and the only life found on Earth were ocean-dwelling unicellular beings. The early stages of Uranian glaciation were pretty severe as from 2.4 to 2.3 billion years ago, the entire planet completely froze in the first snowball Earth. This presumably occurred due to the 250 million year absence in volcanic activity. This continued for over 300 million years until slowly the Earth returned to its original form. For over an eon, there was no sign of ice ages until 720 million years ago. This is when the Earth slowly started to freeze again. This primarily happened due to the increase in volcanic activities. These volcanic activities reduced carbon dioxide content on the Earth, which led to the most severe glaciation event, i.e. Cryogenian Ice Age. During this time, almost the entire Earth was covered underneath a thin layer of ice. 
Nearly 200 years later, another severe wave occurred. The Andean Saharan Ice Age over 460 million years ago. This was the shortest ice age ever which lasted almost 30 million years. Around 100 million years later, the Earth was again struck by the Ice Age. This time, it was the Late Paleozoic Age which lasted around 100 million years and was caused mainly due to the expansion of plants on land. The plants started absorbing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen, which led to the Ice Age. The Quaternary Glaciation is the most recent ice age that occurred over 2.4 million years ago and ended approximately 11,700 years ago. This is by far the most well-known ice age among the public. The glaciers from this ice age are still present in some parts of Antarctica. This entire sequence of events following the first ice age and the most recent one give us a clear indication that the Ice Age and other major climatic changes will be dependent upon the composition of our Earth. Without human existence, the Earth will be on its path to another extreme glaciation in the upcoming 50,000 years. However, the gases we're putting into the atmosphere with our industries and technology is slowly leading us to another major climatic change. There have been speculations that the Ice Age might have happened due to an asteroid hitting the Earth millions of years ago, triggering the Ice Age and extinction of dinosaurs. However, that's not true. This is because of one simple reason. Scientists have not found any evidence of an Ice Age occurring during the life of the dinosaurs. During the last Ice Age, there were mainly three species. Homo erectus, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens and other animals such as mammoths, sloths, saber-toothed tigers, squirrels, etc. When the Ice Age hit, all of these species had to migrate from the warm African heartland towards the equator. Through music, dance and art, our Homo sapien ancestors collected and transmitted vast amounts of information about the seasons, edible plants, weather patterns, etc. The elaborate cave paintings at sites like Lascaux and Chauvet in France explained how in the late Ice Age humans possessed about the natural world, especially the prey animals they depended on for survival. Homo sapiens during the Ice Age created tools using the available materials to do their daily tasks. One of them was a tool called Buren. It was a humble-looking rock chisel that was used to cut grooves and notches into bone and antler. The material was pretty lightweight, but hard and durable at the same time. They also built spearheads from bone and antler that they used to hunt down their targets. Homo erectus, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens had to fight for their food as the Ice Age had completely destroyed the plants and agriculture. Things got so worse at the end that only Homo sapiens managed to survive and the rest became extinct. Here, another key question arises. When will the next major ice age occur? To understand this, we'll have to again discuss the Milankovic cycle. Milankovic cycle tells us that all major climate changes occur mainly due to the eccentricity, obliquity and precession. Whenever these three factors reach their absolute peak, we can experience another ice age. The last time these factors peaked, the Earth transitioned into Quaternary Glaciation. According to the Milankovitch cycle, the next Ice Age will be much colder than the previous ones. If we combine the Milankovitch cycle and current atmospheric conditions, we might be experiencing an Ice Age in the next 50,000 years. Even though the next Ice Age might occur several thousand years later, humans can still survive using today's technology. If the Homo sapiens can survive the Ice Age with no technology, then we can surely use the latest tech to our advantage. We can analyze the problems our ancestors faced during the Ice Age and with the help of technology, figure out their solutions. For example, the biggest problem Homo sapiens and other species had to face during the Ice Age was the lack of plantation we could somehow come up with a way of producing food under cold conditions.